I think it's reflective of a very wide and systemic problem within the GHA. For a long time, we have seen complaints rising on the question of, of the service insofar as appointments, cancellations, and in the context of COVID, there is some understanding, of course, from everyone in the community that that might well be the case. But to elevate this, uh, the, elevate the industrial relations temperature in relation to gynaecologists, dentists, the nursing staff, for them now to take industrial action is a very serious reflection on the way in which our system is managed, our health services are managed. Uh, and in our view, the government really needs to grapple with this now and deal with it. In relation to the gynaecologists in particular, of course, it is said by the unions that the government, and I'm quoting here, does not care about tarnishing the reputation of employees. That's a bold statement by the unions and something that should be of deep concern to members of our community. So are you associating yourself with the comments made by Unite the Union? From the reports that I receive from members within the GHA, patients that hear, of course, maybe anecdotally stories about what goes on in the GHA. It doesn't surprise me, I must say, that when someone comes to the end of their fixed-term contract and is coming up to the, the position where they seek potentially a statement of permanency within the organisation, that somehow circumstances surround themselves so that people are now pushed out of the services at that time. That happens across the nursing staff, as the unions have said. It happened with these particular gynaecologists, which clearly must impact on the service afforded to our community. And it gives us real deep concern about what is actually going on with the GHA. Uh, and for industrial action to be taken at this level is a very significant and bold step uh, by the members of Staff Sandel, but a necessary one in order to show the strength of feeling of what's going on within the GHA. In your statement, you also refer to more general systemic issues at the GHA, issues which, in fairness, the government itself acknowledged when it launched its uh, major reforms, which are supposed to start in January. So aren't you effectively just pointing to issues which the government has already identified uh, need tackling at the GHA? Well, look, we, you know, we are hopeful and we're very positive about the fact that this step has been t taken insofar as the appointment of a Director General uh, in relation to the GHA, but people are very sceptical of, 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 of what is going on uh, in, in respect to, of, of the GHA. Now, these are systemic, long-term problems that the Ministry of Health have handled for me that, that are supposed to be trying to be handled for many, many years. Now, we, have said, we said in the last election, of course, that you need to move the minister the micromanagement at ministerial level out of the GHA. Which has happened with successive governments. In, 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 indeed. No, I accept that. Look, you know, I'm, I'm here to try to offer solutions, not to identify the problems that the government, you say that the government have, uh, have identified. But we have said, employ a, a CEO. We've recently said, employ a CFO to look at procurement and drive out inefficiencies within the GHA because we spent £131 million pounds on our health service and we want to make that tighter and make it work better uh, and increase that vocational aspect of nursing and the provision of, of, of health care. We came up with these ideas in 2019. We're grateful that government have now seemed to have seemingly have adopted GSD policy in respect of this. But what is, what is clear to me is fine, they've identified the problem uh, and they're trying to move forward with reform, but it is a bit too late, quite frankly. You know, the problems that we are seeing systemic from the GHA have been here for a very long time. So query what they have been doing for the last 10 years about it, quite frankly.